Uh, okay, uh, today's topic I will start uh, with the movie that was recently uh, uh, released in the theaters. It's called The Theory of Everything. And uh, it became a very popular movie. Uh, we see that uh, since it was released in, on, in November, November 2014, and now in, it's April 2015, so in uh, several months it made already... Uh, 35 million dollars in United States and uh, altogether worldwide 120 million dollars so it's very popular movie and uh, actually why I'm starting this uh, why I'm starting actually this uh, with with the movie itself is actually uh, exactly uh, what it says at the uh, at one of the first lines in the trailer itself uh, and I will show you now uh, so uh now and there you go uh behind the genius of Stephen Hawking so that's exactly why I'm starting this with the uh, with this with this movie because this this first line in the movie says that he is genius, and uh, so that's basically uh, that's basically the whole idea of this movie. And uh, they're trying to 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 uh, support this claim that the media is 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 presenting us today uh, that. Uh, uh, this man is a genius, uh, he is smartest man in the world, uh, smartest man of all humankind and uh, all other things you know they are trying to to sell us and uh, so that's 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 the main reason also you know the, the movie industry is making uh, money uh, and uh, they're also uh, ensuring his uh, his celebrity status with with the movie because uh, now he is uh, he is actual uh, actually a real world world celebrity uh, Stephen Hawking we are actu actually talking about real uh, world uh, celebrity and uh, the whole uh, this uh, uh, media industry is uh, is uh, making a lot of money you know on 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 this on this whole on this whole story. Okay, we know that uh, Hollywood movies uh, uh, recently uh, have been uh, used by uh, even by the U U.S. Uh, uh, government and uh, and the U.S. military to promote some pro-war ideas, uh, and uh, because Hollywood movies have have proven as a very powerful uh, powerful propaganda. Uh, propaganda uh, machine that was uh, able to, to send messages across the world and uh, basically form public opinion so even US government is, is, is using Hollywood uh, uh, for their propaganda and uh, how it how Hollywood works uh, it uh, basically it's creating these stereotypes especially uh, it's uh, it's when it comes to uh, to, to, to some uh, racial groups uh, that the, the research has shown that uh, people uh, because of these Hollywood uh, movies people mostly identify African Americans as a, as a, as a, uh, criminals gang members uh, Arabs are, are uh, associated with terrorists and uh, so so that's what what Hollywood Hollywood movies uh, do there are, there are many hollywood movies recently that have been you know uh, that have been portraying arabs as uh, as a terrorist and the enemies of the uh, united states and that's a known fact so uh, the same thing is with this uh, uh, the same thing is with this uh, movie about stephen hawking uh, it's also another uh, hollywood uh, propaganda that's uh, enhancing this uh, idea of uh, they're trying to show Stephen Hawking as a genius and it's no wonder that this one of these 
first li first lines in the movie there he goes behind the genius it's that that's the that's the idea they are promoting this uh, this notion of uh, of Stephen Hawking being genius uh, smartest man in the world and uh, basically that's that's what Hollywood does the best so it's no wonder this movie is 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 used in this case for this particular uh, purpose. Yeah, and the intellectual and emotional struggles of grad school. Did you also find yourself struggling at one point to deal with all the pressures of academia? And uh, you're supposed to believe that this is the smartest man in the world. So uh, even if we take a look at the list of uh, the most influential scientists of all the time, uh, we will see that Isaac Newton was, was the number one, then uh, Albert Einstein, uh, Nikola Tesla, Galileo Galilei, and uh, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, top five of all the time, and uh, all, all five of them were absolutely uh, normal and healthy men, none of them were, were uh, paralyzed. Uh, and uh, so, but these scientists uh, made some discoveries uh, that really uh, in the entire humanity uh, benefited greatly from, from, from their scientific work. And uh, there is no sense that God would uh, take away uh, speech from uh, Stephen Hawking and uh, then expect him to, to, to deliver some, some great uh, scientific discovery for, the, uh, for us. So that just doesn't uh, make sense. And also, if you take a look at the list of people with the highest IQ, uh, if we know that the average man is considered uh, uh, to have a high IQ I if he is in the range between 120 and 130, we see that these guys are uh, people with highest IQ 250, 300, 225, 230. 225. They, oh, these these are real uh, smartest men in the world, and these are uh, people with a, with a, with a, with extremely extremely uh, high IQ, twice the size of the average man who is considered to have a high IQ. So these are real geniuses, and you probably never heard of any of them. Uh, you never hear anything in the media uh, mentioning these people are the smartest men. Yet. Uh, Yet they keep uh, repeating that uh, it's uh, it's Stephen Hawking who is smartest man in the world, and uh, all these men, you know, they all has have these 190 IQ, Gary Kasparov, and Stephen Hawking is actually also listed here, but his IQ 160, much much lower than these guys. It is higher than the uh, average person, but uh, not even close to those smart, real smartest men in the world. So uh, they then they provide a whole bunch of these uh, uh, crap, crap, you know, uh, statements like this one here. Stephen Hawking has unlocked new pathways of discovery and inspired people around the world. Stephen William Hawking was born in Oxford, England on the 300th anniversary of the death of Galileo. On That's right. So he was born on the 300th anniversary of death of Galileo. So am I supposed to believe that that's what makes him a genius? I mean, that's uh, that's that's the whole point here. The media is uh, you know pushing this you know story, and actually, if you take a look at the actual uh, data, you know you will see that he's not even close to those who are actual real geniuses. So this is all a uh, part of uh, media you know story media is trying to push this story very very 
uh, very hard. And they provide these uh, nonsense nonsenses like this one. He was born on 300th anniversary of, of Galileo's death. Well, that doesn't make you be a genius, you know. Okay, so uh, I would like to take a look a little bit in closer into the into the early life of Stephen Hawking, and uh, there are so many links on the web uh, where you can find his his uh, biographical data from his life, and uh, what you will see uh, there is that uh, actually uh, during the high school uh, he was not even recognized as exceptional student; he was just recognized as a bright kid, and uh, we know that that uh, these. Uh, you know, real geniuses with extreme IQ, they show their uh, geniusness, uh, their sh they show their genius mind from the very early age. Like, uh, like this Terence Tao uh, with IQ of 225, 230, you know, he was teaching arithmetic at the age of two. You know. He attended mathematic courses at the age of nine. So from the very early age, these real uh, geniuses, they show their exceptional exceptionality. And uh, uh, Stephen Hawking was uh, was no exceptional student at all. You know, he was not even. I mean, he was not among his his schoolmates. You know, he was not even considered as 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 the best as the best student. And even uh, when he was in the when he was in the university college in Oxford, when he was doing his undergraduate school, uh, he did not have a good grades uh, to get. Uh, to get uh, signed up for for a graduate school, so he actually had to take an extra oral examination at the end, uh, at the end of the of the his undergraduate studies in order to get admitted to the to the to the graduate school. So we see from all these examples that uh, 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 we are not uh, talking. We, are, we don't see any indications of of any exceptional. Intelligence or exceptional, uh, exceptional mind, you know, showing anywhere, you know, in his in his in his life. Uh, okay, and uh, if we take a further uh, into his biography, uh, we uh, see that uh, he uh, managed to get. Uh, uh, to get admitted to the Cambridge University in 1962 and uh, he started his uh, PhD in uh, cosmology there but uh, soon after afterwards uh, he was uh, diagnosed with this ALS uh, disease and uh, that was uh, that was very uh, horrifying uh, horrifying news uh, for him so uh, Further reading from his biography, uh, he fell into uh, deep depression. Uh, that's what his uh, biogra biography says. Uh, and uh, he definitely did not act like it says in the trailer here. Uh, I will, I will, I will run it now. Uh, it's one of the famous uh, lines that they keep repeating in the media today. For what is going to come. There should be no boundary but human endeavor. And as her bad life may seem, well, there is life. There is hope. Well, that's uh, that's one of these famous uh, lines that uh, they show uh, him saying, "Where there is a life, there is a hope." Uh, trying to to actually uh, show that he was. Uh, he was not actually moved, you know, by this discovery, and he was uh, always so optimistic. And uh, but actually, the truth is completely uh, different. Uh, we saw that he fell into deep depression, actually, and he did not say where there is a human, where there is a human life, there is a hope, of course. So uh, on quite on quite contrary, uh, uh, he. Uh, he was horrified, like everyone else would be, to find out uh, such thing, uh, such illness, of course. Uh, but uh, people around him, uh, they encouraged him to keep on with his life, especially uh, Dr. Schiama, uh, his mentor at, uh, at the Cambridge University, where he was doing his uh, PhD. 
uh, they encouraged him to, 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 to keep on with his life, not because they, uh, they knew that he was a genius and they, they saw some kind of uh, smartest man in the world uh, uh, in him, but because uh, actually uh, they gave him the best advice at that point of time, which was uh, keep, on, keep, keep on with your life. Of course, because the, the worst thing you can do is, uh, is, is fall into depression. So uh, that's the that's uh, that's actually people around him gave him the advice, you know, to keep on with his life. Not because he was genius, but because that was the best uh, thing for him, you know, to do at that at that point of time. So he 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 managed actually since his illness you know, was progressing much slower than they expected. Uh, he managed to to complete his. Uh, Graduate uh, studies, and uh, and uh, he even received a PhD uh, in cosmology in 1966, which is which is extraordinary thing uh, by itself. Uh, but uh, it's not because uh, uh, Stephen Hawking was some kind of uh, some kind of genius and some. Uh, uh, some smartest man in the world, but because uh, that was the uh, <laughs> people around him encouraged him to to go on with his life. So nothing special about him, personally. Again, but the the, the movie and media is showing it completely uh, different to us today. Like he said, uh, where there is a life, there is hope, and uh, all that kind of uh, crap that has nothing to do with the actual with the actual uh, truth. Uh, okay. Uh, during the the the, the, uh, the his uh, graduate uh, graduate school and his uh, PhD study, uh, Stephen Hawking uh, at that time, uh, when he was at the uh, Cambridge uh, University of Cambridge, uh, there was a big debate in the physics community about uh, theories called as creation of universe theories. Uh, those are things like Big Bang theory, uh, black hole theory, black holes theory, and uh, so forth and so forth. So uh, basically, uh, what they did is basically they provided a whole bunch of these uh, mathematical formulas, uh, complex formulas, uh, to uh, base their 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 theories. But actually, they they just remained theories, and they never were able to prove that, prove any provide any physical evidence actually even actually now today 50 years after that there are some very uh, leading uh, cosmologists in the in the physics community who actually say that there was no big bang and uh, that all these uh, theories black hole theories and big bang theories they actually there is no no foundation you know for them and uh, there are so many uh, so many articles you can find on the net that uh, these physicists today uh, uh, actually uh, question uh, the very existence of these uh, black holes and uh, and so uh, w we are talking about uh, we are talking about uh, theories uh, about theor theorizing uh, in about something you know that that you have no uh, clue what you are talking about and uh, scientists physics scientists today uh, they, they they provide evidence that this is this is a nonsense. One of the most uh, one of the most known is Professor Laura Laura Mersini uh, Hutton. She is actually uh, Albanian, you know, and uh, she is a professor at University of North Carolina, and she is one of the biggest uh, 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 skeptics in this science community. Who and she says that uh, basically this is all completely unfounded, and there are no uh, neither mathematical nor physical. Uh, 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 Evidence in the physics that they that that can prove these things, and that we are actually talking about these uh, you know non-existing things. So you can find these these links, you know, either also on the YouTube and uh, on the on the on the web. So what we are talking about is Stephen Hawking actually fit right into this uh, uh, community, scientific community that was basically. Uh, that was basically uh, doing just a whole bunch of theories without any uh, proof uh, and uh, any any physical evidence. So that's that's where where, where actually Stephen Hawking uh, fits in at 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 that time, and that's that's uh, 60s of the of the of the last century.
uh, if we look at the uh, if we look at uh, Stephen Hawking's career, uh, we see that uh, from 1966, uh, when he received his uh, PhD in cosmology, uh, he provided amazing amazing work uh, during uh, that time and uh, during uh, uh, 70s. Uh, he he was providing paper after paper, and that's that's amazing. Uh, you can look it up. Uh, so he um, he in the beginning of 1973 uh, he moved in the in the study of uh, uh, quantum gravity and uh, quantum mechanics, uh, and uh, by that time uh, he was already in the wheelchair, uh, paralyzed. And uh, his speech was uh, was uh, deterior uh, was deteriorated to to such extent that only his uh, close family members and friends could understand what he was uh, saying. So, uh, in spite of these uh, uh, in spite of these uh, difficulties in his health, you know, he is uh, it's astonishing amount of of scientific work he provided during that time. But this was all, as I said, in the field of these uh, theories uh, called the creation of universe that we now see uh, are uh, completely, uh, completely unfounded, and uh, uh, most of that thing stuff don't don't even exist. So at that time, uh, <coughs> uh, he was uh, he was in the research of on the on the on this theory of the black. Holes and uh, that's uh, basically a uh, time when he uh, uh, he uh, introduced this uh, uh, his theory called a black hole information paradox, and this theory basically says that uh, in, in 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 short it says that uh, you know all information that uh, disappears in the black hole which uh, violated one of the uh, basic principles of this. Uh, a quantum mechanics, uh, and uh, which says that uh, information cannot be uh, lost. So uh, this uh, black hole information paradox uh, uh, that was announced by him in 1981 resulted in a in a, in a 30 years a long debate in the scientific uh, community uh, with uh, with uh, one of the world famous physicists called uh, Leonard uh, Susskind. Uh, and uh, so this this uh, 30 year uh, period w is is known in the in the in the scientific community is known as a uh, black hole uh, black hole war so finally uh, finally in the in the in the latest time uh, actually uh, Stephen Hawking himself you know he admitted that uh, he was wrong and uh, that uh, that uh, Actually, he even claimed that uh, some he made some claims, you know, that uh, black holes don't even exist. So basically, he is uh, he is uh, denying himself, you know, in in essence, you know, whatever he's 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 claimed, you know, he he, he now uh, uh, claims that he was uh, he admits that he was wrong. So basically, that that's another proof that uh, we are in the field of of uh, of mere theories, just theoretical. Theoretical claims that that uh, they they uh, they l uh, lead these uh, these debates in the scientific community for for 30 years, you know, on something that uh, can't even be proven nor, nor 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 can be disapproved, you know. So there is no evidence to prove it, nor nor you can you can you can you can disapprove it. This is just a, this is just a theoretical, you know, theoretical assumptions, no, nothing but theoretical assumptions that don't have any, any, any physical, physical, uh, and, uh, uh, physical evidence in the, in the, in, in the, in the, in the scientific, in the scientific sense. Uh, in 1998, Stephen Hawking, uh, he published a book called A Brief History of Time. This book uh, soon became a bestseller, and uh, it was translated into many languages and sold uh, a total of 10 million copies. Uh, and uh, this was uh, 
this was a big financial uh, success for him it uh, it it provide uh, it made him a lot of money so here we are talking about now uh, in at this time and end of the 80s we are talking uh, of Stephen Hawking as a real world celebrity who is making a lot of money and uh, who is attracting a lot of media attention uh, and uh, al although this book uh, brief history of time was not scientific at all it was a uh, uh, commercial book uh, intended for the wide audience uh, he uh, kept receiving these uh, prestigious uh, scientific awards so he was receiving scientific awards for the book that was not scientific at all and uh, there are, I mean a number of, of these prestigious awards that he uh, he, he received and uh, uh, I will just mention some of them. Th and there it's a long, long list of these uh, of words. I will uh, mention like Commander of the Order of the British Empire, Gold Medal of the Royal Astronomical Society. And after he published this, uh, this commer after he published this bestseller, he actually uh, uh, in 1989 he was appointed a member of the Order of the Companions of Honor. Uh, this order is very interesting because it's a Freemason, uh, Freemason order. So we see that uh, now we see that there is a link between him and uh, and the Freemasonry. Uh, he uh, this this uh, was uh, followed by by some resentment in the in the in the in the in the community of of. Uh, uh, physics and uh, physicists so they were uh, very critical of this uh, they realized that Stephen Hawking is uh, going from uh, scientific field into the field of celebrity and uh, business and uh, it was obviously that uh, the scientists were kind of uh, I would not say jealous but rather they were they were pointing out that this is a uh, ridiculous you know that uh, that and uh, and in 1999, actually, the physics world uh, surveyed approximately 130 physicists and asked them to rank the most uh, important uh, uh, scientists in the in the field of uh, physics who made the most contribution. And actually, Isaac Newton was the first one, then Albert Einstein, and so forth and so forth. And uh, Stephen Hawking actually received only one single vote in this survey. So we see uh, that uh, that uh, Stephen Hawking is is uh, you know is not uh, currently ranking very high in this uh, scientific in scientific world at all, because this man is clearly now uh, he is clearly now uh, in the world of business. Uh, he is a celebrity. He is making Hollywood movies. He's making he's publishing bestseller books. He's making millions uh, in in in. Uh, millions of dollars in money and uh, so that's that's obviously that's obvious uh, in 1992 uh, Stephen Hawking uh, released a Hollywood movie called Brief History of Time uh, it was directed by Steven Spielberg uh, and uh, we see that uh, this this uh, this movie was uh, based on his best best seller uh, best seller book, and uh, we see that actually uh, the latest one uh, latest uh, movie uh, Theory of Everything is not uh, Stephen Hawking's first Hollywood movie. Actually, he he's been making these Hollywood movies uh, since uh, since the beginning of 1990s and. Uh, uh, we see that uh, there is official trailer. A model is a good model that first it interprets a wide range of observations in terms of a simple and elegant model. And second, if the model makes definite predictions that can be tested and possibly falsified by observation. Uh, if we take a look at the, if we take a look at the, 
uh, the earnings for this for this movie it was 2.3 million dollars uh, earnings on the on, in the box office. So uh, Stephen Hawking, uh, Hollywood movie maker, uh, celebrity. Uh, uh, this is all, all, all beyond the scientific uh, world. All well beyond the science, and uh, he is. Uh, he is, we see that he is well established, you know, celebrity since uh, 1990s. In the late 1970s, Jack Holmes was sensing. People latched onto Hawking as the guru who could explain the mysteries of the universe. He began appearing in newspapers and on television. His physical appearance and the way he talked about big ideas in a witty and accessible way made him unforgettable, even though he had to use a student to interpret his failing speech. He wouldn't see it as especially if I was beside a doctor. What's your boss's sacrificial point? Well, the question is actually, <coughs> uh, how is this guy in uh, <coughs> who is obviously <coughs> completely paralyzed? He can't move. He can't talk. Uh, how is he actually uh, managing to all to do all this thing? You know, he 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 provided this amazing scientific work. Uh, he provided so many research papers in the field of science during the 70s. Then in the 80s he uh, became a real uh, Hollywood celebrity, uh, making uh, writing bestseller books, uh, making Hollywood movies. Uh, how is that actually? He's he's making lectures uh, throughout the world universities. Uh, he's uh, uh, actually how is that possible at all? How is it possible that that that? Uh, uh, that such man can do it. I mean, if you if you take an ordinary man who is completely healthy, uh, he would he would be uh, he would not be capable of of, of uh, accomplishing all these things. So how is this guy? Who, how is this guy actually accomplishing all all, all this all this? Uh, that that's the question. And the answer is uh, is uh, pretty simple. Actually, uh, it's not him who is doing this. It's someone else who is doing it for him. But uh, we don't see these people because these people are working behind the scenes. So uh, they say this this robot voice uh, that was created for him uh, uh, that it's actually uh, it's not him his thoughts it's actually uh, it's uh, his assistants who work behind the scenes and uh, who are actually fully qualified uh, in physics and science and. Uh, who can uh, provide you a uh, very uh, a very good answers when you wh when you when you ask ask him you know uh, something in in the in the in the uh, in the field of, uh, of expertise and in the field of, field of physics and science so these these are the guys uh, behind the scenes uh, whom you are actually talking to it's not Stephen Haw Hawking uh, who is talking uh, uh, through this robot voice but it's rather his assistants who stand behind the scenes as and uh, uh, these people are very knowledgeable and uh, <laughs> in physics and uh, and in science and they can give you a pretty good uh, pretty good answers and uh, so uh, there are some amazing testimonies actually there are even some testimonies uh, coming out 
uh, from persons who claim to have worked as his assistants, actually. And uh, that's that's what I'm going to show in the next uh, in the next uh, in the next video. So these these guys claim to to have worked as his uh, personal assistants. And uh, listen to well, well, whatever, this. Whatever neural connections. When you say thoughts, you're talking about neural connections. I want to move my elbow. I want to move my elbow. No, you don't. Okay, this is a this is a video of uh, of a guy who claimed to 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 have worked as his as he uh, as one of his assistants. Actually, it's a team of people who is working behind the scenes. But he he actually he's he was actually only one of them. So, uh, so we see that that it's obviously not. Uh, it's obviously something uh, really strange going on, uh, and uh, that that's probably uh, most likely what actually happens. And it's not actually the Stephen Hawking who is going behind this robot voice, but that's actually it's a team of assistants who are well paid and uh, uh, they have a very good reason, you know. Uh, to move him around uh, uh, in this wheelchair and uh, just to show him like uh, like in some showcase you know they're, they're just making a they're just making a uh, one big show you know with this with this with this guy who is actually uh, sick and uh, and that's really uh, I I, re I personally feel very sorry for him because he should probably be uh, in some you know institution and he's probably suffering uh, and going through some pain and uh, but but uh, the media is 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 uh, you know that they they made him celebrity they're making a lot of money you know there is a lot of money in, in at stake and uh, they just uh, you know they just uh, move him around you know and uh, and uh, that's that's actually and there is a team of people actually who is who is working behind him you know and uh, that's that's what actually that's uh, that's most likely what's actually going on here and uh, well actually it's a, a real question here is why are they why are they trying to sell this to us why is the media trying to sell uh, to sell this this story of of Stephen Hawking genius, Stephen Hawking, uh, uh, the the smartest man in the world. When we see that uh, that he is not the smartest man in the world, and he is not genius, and uh, and we see that this man is uh, is very uh, ill, uh, paralyzed, disabled. So so uh, the question is, why are they ch actually pushing this story? You know, why are they trying to convince us? This, that this man is uh, is uh, uh, a genius, and uh, 
actually uh, one reason is because uh, they're making a lot of money. So he's he's obviously he became celebrity. They're making movies, uh, selling books. You know, they're moving him around. He's doing presentations. So uh, one reason is that uh, this media industry is uh, making a lot of money. You know, and also uh, probably his family and uh, whoever is is is. Uh, you know, he he is 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 uh, he is in his cast. Whoever is uh, in whoever custody he is right now. So it's probably his his family members who are making a lot of money uh, of of this whole story, and uh, uh, that's one reason. And the other reason is uh, actually uh, this is another social experiment. You know, Stephen Hawking. Presenting Stephen Hawking to us as a genius, this is another social experiment. And actually, I will just show you. You remember the bucket challenge? Uh, bucket challenge. That was a that was a big social experiment. Which is and uh, what what are these social experiments? They're, these social experiments are nothing but the the the, the uh, uh, media trying to to control uh, minds of millions of people. You know. So, 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 uh, mind control on a massive scale, and I will show you right the the uh, one of his uh, his uh, participation in this bucket challenge uh, crap. Because I had pneumonia last year, it would not be wise for me to have a bucket of cold water poured over me. What? But my children, Robert, Lucy, and Tim. There you go. Another bullshit uh, uh, social experiment of the of the media. And uh, why are th why are they performing these social experiments? Well, that's mi that's mind control. Uh, they are, they want to control a people's mind on a massive scale, and that's the, the 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 part of their plan. You know, that's 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 mass controlling the people, and. Uh, how, how how do you control people the best? Well, by controlling their minds. First, you have to make them believe anything, you know. And uh, if you can uh, if you can make them believe that that uh, that uh, Stephen Hawking, uh, who is paralyzed man, if they can make you believe that this man is a genius, you know, and that he is the smartest man of all humankind, then they can make you believe anything. So. So it's it's just uh, th they're just trying to make you look like complete idiots, and once they make you complete idiots, then uh, they can sell you anything. So if you if you buy this story, you know, then you can buy anything. Then you will also buy the story that they're going to Iraq and to Afghanistan, you know, to bring democracy. So that's the same, exactly the same uh, the same idea, and. Uh, uh, so th and that's what what mass mass media mainstream media is doing. They are uh, they are performing these social experiments. Uh, if they can if they can convince you that Stephen Hawking is genius and that he is the greatest mind of, all, they can literally make you believe anything. So Stephen Hawking, just another social experiment, and that's all about it. That's the whole story and uh, I apologize to